Hello and welcome to another Rob Chaz travel video. Today we are in the Pang Na region and we are 65 kilometers off the coast of Khao Lak. Where are we Chaz? The Similan Islands and today we are at the Moku Similan National Park. The Similan Islands is one of the top day trip destinations in the south of Thailand. But first, let's rewind to the start of our day. We took the early bird tour and were picked up from our hotel around 5.40 in the morning. It was around 15 minutes in the van from our hotel to the Tap Lamu port for our departure. When we arrived at the port, we were registered for our boat and then got our armbands, which tells you which group you're in and your guide can find you. There is a great open air kitchen and dining area to get your much needed coffee and some breakfast before our briefing. Perfect morning for it. So this morning we are off to Simulan Island. Okay, come please welcome to our pier. And for the first, may I introduce myself? My name's Thai. And for our program, Kapom, we go to Similan Island. For the first, check your healthy before we start heart attack. <laughs> no? Uh, asthma. No? A broken heart? <laughs> <laughs> no one broken heart. Okay, come on. Time from our pier to Similan National Park around one hour, 30 minutes. One hour, 30 minutes. For our program, we go to number four, number eight, and number nine. In the early, we have a two snorkeling dive, but I cannot tell you yet which dive site is the best today. Until around 11 o'clock, our boat direct to island number four. Island number four is the last station of us that we stay on the beach. We eat lunch at here and after that get your free time for you again. Then all of the day we die, uh, snuggling three times. Two times in the early morning, one time in afternoon, two o'clock or at uh, 2 o'clock 20, we depart from there and after that, we will arrive at our pier around half past 3 in afternoon. The Taplamu River mouth has been used as a port for generations. As we come through the main part of the port, the boats are required to limit their speed. We were lucky enough to get great weather this day, so the 90 minute boat ride was pretty smooth. It wasn't long before we were getting our first look at the main Similan Island, which is also known as Similan 8. We made our way around the north end of the island into Donald Duck Bay, where the famous Sail Rock is. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. I'm ready for it. Oh, okay. With the weather so good, we were able to do the sail rock walk. So we decided to make the climb straight away before the crowds got any bigger.
One of the reasons we chose to do the early bird tour is to try and avoid the bigger crowds. These islands can get quite busy. The walk up to the top was a bit tricky in places. We're taking the little nature walk trail up to the sail rock. Uh, lovely through the jungle here, what do you reckon? Yes, it's lovely. I can't wait to go see the view because I love heights. But it's going to be amazing, so let's go have a look. I'm glad we've got our shoes. <laughs> At the top of the walk is a magnificent view of the bay. It's significantly better, bigger than what I thought that was going to be. little kiosk here where you can get some snacks and drinks but if you're on a boat tour you guys should bring snacks and a drink for you we just said a quick hello to the locals and then took a look around the grounds before making our way over to the beach Thanks for watching our video. Please hit the subscribe button. It really helps out our channel. So first stop was Stimulan Island. Our next stop was probably the highlight of the day. We moved across the bay for our first snorkel and got to swim with the amazing sea turtles. The happiness, excitement and freedom that came from swimming with these majestic creatures was truly surreal.
after the most amazing snorkeling and with big smiles on our faces, was back on the boat to head over to the next stop for the day. This is island number seven, the best snorkeling site and dive site of Similan Island. When you jump to the water, when you jump to the sea, turn left only. You can find a lot of a reef coral over there. Okay, comes our platform already. Our next snorkeling site was also spectacular. The stunning underwater coral garden was alive with sea life. Lunch was supplied by our tour company, Adventure World. Chicken and rice, masaman curry, and vegetables. After lunch, we decided to go for a walk to check out the rest of the island. 350 metre walk to the next beach. Why not? This little fellow is called the Nicobar Pigeon. He is a rare tropical bird found only in a few island locations around the world. The walk through the cool tropical rainforest up and over the hill was pretty easy going with picturesque scenery along the way. The beach on this side of the island was quite busy, so we made our way back for a swim before heading off on the boat again for our last snorkel of the day. And with a bit of help from Ty, our tour guide, we were able to find Nemo. As 
as we head back into port to end our day, we reflect on what was a great day on and under the water with Adventure World Travel. We made our booking through Andaman Island Tours and Travel and they were very helpful. They had great communication with us throughout the whole day. We can highly recommend them. Thanks for watching our video and don't forget to check out our other Rob Shaz travel adventures. Bye for now. A little bit of an incident there. Um... <laughs>